production system may be defined as the methods, procedure, or arrangement which includes all functions required to accumulate or gather the inputs, process or reprocess the inputs, and deliver the marketable outputs or goods. There are actually two categories of production system. First is intermittent production system, and second is continuous production system. In this video, we will going to discuss each category as well as, well as each subcategories. Intermittent means something that starts and stops at irregular intervals. In the intermittent production system, goods are produced according to customers' orders. So there are actually three types of intermittent production system. First is project production flows. Second is jobbing production flows and third is batch production flows. For project production flows, the company accepts a single complex order or contract. The order must be completed within a certain period of time and at an estimated cost. Let's say for example creating a boat. It is impossible to create, create such things in huge quantities. These items receive the majority of attention or majority of the attention from the employees, facilities, and other resources. Therefore, each product may be thought as a project within or with certain operations being carried out in a sequential or simultaneous manner, depending on the nature of the product. Other examples of uh, project production flows includes the construction of airports, roads, buildings, ship buildings, dams, and etc. The second type of intermittent production system is jobbing. So for jobbing, company accepts a contract to produce one or a few units of a product strictly according to the specifications given by the customer. The product is produced within a certain period and at a fixed cost. This cost is fixed at the time of signing the contract. Examples of job production flows include services provided by clothing workshops, repair shops, manufacturers of special machine tools, and etc. The third type of intermittent production system is batch production flows. In batch production flows, the production schedule is decided according to specific orders or base on demand forecast. Here, the company or the production of items takes place in lots. A product is divided into different jobs. All jobs in production batch must be completed before starting the next production batch. Examples of batch production flows include manufacture of drugs in pharmaceuticals, medium and heavy machinery, and etc. So now the second category of production system is, is continuous production system. Continuous means something that operates constantly without irregularities or frequent stops. In the continuous production system, goods are constantly produced according to the demand forecast. The goods are produced on a large scale for storage and sale. There are actually three types of continuous production system. First is mass production, second is process production, and third is assembly production. When we say mass production, only one or two or three types of products are produced in huge quantities in this sort of continuous production, since much emphasis is not given to the demands of the customers or consumers. The major uh, the major features of this system are the standardization of product, process, materials, and equipment, as well as the inter uninterrupted flows or uninterrupted flow of product or materials. Now, the second type of continuous production system is process production. This technique is utilized for the production of items that have a constant and strong demand for their availability. In this case, a single raw material can be turned into several kinds of goods at the different stages of manufacturing process. For example, when crude oil is defined, we receive kerosene, gasoline, 
and other products at the different stages of manufacturing process. Now, for the third type of continuous production system is assembly production. When we say assembly production, the assembly process is the process through which two or more compon components are integrated to create a finished product. Finished pieces are assembled into sub-assemblies or final assemblies after being manufactured. Automobiles, radio sets, television sets, bicycle watches, and cameras, among other things, are assembled using this method.